Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we have the, the news of the day. We're going to talk about it. We're talking about the Cowboys signing Jason Peters. This is serious. You know what time it is, baby. You know what time it is. It's Cat Mode time, baby. So let's talk about this. There's been rumors the Cowboys have been looking for depth. All the names have been thrown out there. Cowboys went with the better option, in their opinion, with Jason Peters. 40 years old. Uh, last played with the Bears last season. I think it was 13 games or something like that. Um, does have a history of durability. More towards the end of his career, obviously. You know, at, at this age, you're going to have durability issues. You know what I mean? So, Cowboys doing their due diligence, as they do. And they bring in a player. You know, it doesn't hurt to add depth. He's been signed to the practice squad. Now it's a matter of taking a look at him in practice, which the Cowboys are doing today to see where he's at physically. You know, how, how's that cardio look? Is he in any sort of game day shape is really what, what you got to take a look at. This is going to be interesting to see what the Cowboys do. If the Cowboys do start Peters at left tackle, you have to believe that they're going to put Tyler Smith at left guard. If they do Peters at left tackle and McGovern at left guard, this this front office just continues to bumble and stumble through this year. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to see that. You know, Tyler Smith needs to be your starter, either at left tackle or left guard, game one, and then go from there, all right? I don't want to see him on, on the bench, first round pick, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's my quick thought on that, Jason Peters. Do I want him to start? I think that, uh, you know, this team needs to needs to think about, you know, what do they want to do with the offensive line next season? Tyrus Smith's done, bro. All right, I think we all we all know that. And, and if you don't know that, you know, at this point, you know, okay, don't know what to tell you. But Tyrus Smith's done, dude. So left tackle of the future. Tyler Smith, or do you address it in the draft next year? Like I've said before, when you think about the draft, your premier tackles, they're gonna go in that, in that top part of the draft. Rarely do you get an all-star, really an all-pro on that second half of the draft. So if you're the Cowboys, you still wanna see if you can develop Tyler Smith at that left tackle position because when it comes to the draft, guards, they can be had in the teens and lower, which we're hoping the Cowboys will be drafting in. I mean, we're hoping when the Cowboys will be drafting a number 32. But, you know, the Cowboys have a history of drafting, you know, in that back half of the draft. You know, that's ideal for guards, centers, you know, the, these types of uh, positional groups, maybe even in your uh, right tackle. But we're looking for left tackles. So it'll be interesting to see what the Cowboys do here, you know, when, when it comes to is it going to be Jason Peters at left tackle up until, you know, Tyron supposedly comes back? <laughs> um, I don't know. This, this is going to be interesting, but I do like the move as far as depth. You know what I mean? By, I mean, if you're talking about, you know, Jason Peters versus, you know, Josh Ball or, uh, you know, well, let's go. I mean, Peters obviously is the better player, even at 40 years old, okay? Now, you don't want him to be a, you know, a, uh, a progress, you know, stopper. You don't you don't want that, you know, especially if the plan is for Tyler Smith to, to be that left tackle. If that's not the plan, then, then yes, go ahead and, and elevate him from the practice squad. Make your roster move, you know, the sacrificial lamb, whoever's going to get cut, get cut. Probably one of the receivers. Um, so, Jason Peters, left tackle. And let Tyler Smith thrive at that guard position and let these running backs, you know, run behind them. You know, we, we, saw, it in the, we saw it in the preseason. You know, uh, they were running behind him. These young backs, they knew where those holes were opening up at. And, uh, you know, a good amount of the time was behind, you know, um, Tyler Smith. So, you, you like to see that. Keep McGovern as your swing guard, your swing, whatever you want. Uh, but he's he's not better than Tyre Smith. You know, if they roll out Jason Peters and McGovern, I'm going to be so mad, dude. I'm going to be upset as hell. Um, now, 
for this first game, you know, may, maybe they're still acclimating Jason Peters. You know what I mean? May, maybe the maybe this first game will be Tyler Smith at left tackle and McGovern at left guard. I, I could see that, and I wouldn't be surprised by that. You know what I mean? Especially what you heard here, um, you know, as far as, like, w the comments here. And McCarthy said that I mean, he called him a depth player right now. He's on the practice squad. But, uh, you know, we'll see We'll see how it goes. I would imagine that they would activate him for the game day, you know, just, just to see where they, where they go from there. But, guys, let me know what you think about it. Um, I, like, I like this move as far as depth. And, uh, you know, some, some way to get you through the season. But uh, Cowboys still have a lot of work to do on this offensive line. It, it's it's a rebuild in progress, you know what I mean, especially that left side. And, uh, you know, we, we can't we can't omit center. We'll see if Biadish can can um, elevate to, to the, next, uh, the next level this year. But, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Jason Peters signing. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace.